What is going on beautiful people? My name of course is Logix. Welcome back to another NBA 2K mobile video on the channel. Today we've got the full court press, the first one of season seven with none other than Carmelo Anthony. Season seven, day of the dead. If you are new to the channel, I recommend subscribing. If you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it does help me out. And of course, comment your thoughts down below. I'm very excited for this one. Unfortunately, we had issues with the camera quality. They all messed up, and here we are now, no camera for it, but hey, we're still going to have some audio nevertheless. I'm very excited, and uh, yeah, today was a very good one. I'm very happy with it. If you missed my previous pack opening video, it was for the Day of the Dead individual packs, which have just dropped. We had some good luck over there, so go check it out, but of course, a big shout out to 2K for making this one happen. As you can see, we're in round one here. You get three foul opportunities until it's game over. Well, technically, you get two. You get the third one, it is game over. But we're going to get through it, and hopefully, by the end of this video, you're going to see us pick up that brand new Carmelo Anthony, the Moonstone one, which looks absolutely insane. We did speed run through the first round a little bit. We did hit the odd foul, as you can see, but nothing too crazy. Um, and we managed to collect all of them. Now, the thing I find with this is, if you start off in the first round, you can either get very lucky very quickly and jump straight into round two, or you can end up hitting fouls because there's not that many to start with. But of course, if you don't click it and time it right, you're going to end up hitting the fouls quite often. So we had a good run so far. We got round to round three, pardon the puns there. But uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Now, what I like about this full court press is it's completely theme based. You have got some old school cards from previous themes in the previous season, but there is, of course, the main cards to collect, which are all Day of the Dead. And we did get lucky along the way, so hopefully we're going to showcase this quite well. I'm a bit gutted that I couldn't do face uh, face cam on this one, but, you know, these things do happen some, from time to time. It's not all glitz and glamour and not everything always goes to plan, but... We managed to do quite well here, I believe, yeah. We ended up hitting round five very, very quickly, as you can see. Rewards getting collected along the way. What I've really liked about this season is the fact that when you go into the draft picks, which you'll see later on, there is already the Halloween themes to win the background, of course. I'm recording this on Halloween. We did have interruptions from the dogs, so I guess maybe it's a saving grace that the face cam failed, and uh, we ended up missing out on that because we had to do whole new audio. But as you can see, it has gone pretty well. We speed run through this, which is fantastic to see, but I'm just trying to hopefully showcase whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Now, we did end up not spending too much on this. Um, obviously, if you end up looking at the coins total on this one compared to the previous video, it's because we recorded this before we recorded the other one. But the other one, we actually managed to get a proper recording out of. So don't pay too much attention to that, but uh, yeah. Round seven already, which is absolutely crazy. I was panicking a little bit at this point. I thought, yep, yeah, I'm going to foul out. And sure, I did, as you can see there. We did foul out pretty quickly. But there are some good collectibles along the way. So you can pick up the Day of the Dead um, Day of the Dead collectibles. Or you can pick up the Flowers collectibles, which are also part of the Day of the Dead theme. And uh, yeah, surprisingly, we ended up picking up a fair few players. I was surprised because usually... When I do these full court presses, I, I end up picking up the collectibles and uh, I do miss out on a lot of players along the way. But we did foul out there. We're still going. And uh, there is the odd card there that is worth picking up. As you can see, we picked another player up there. Very, very nice indeed. We did miss out on the Day of the Dead player. But we're now into round eight. And this is where the action really happens. We picked up some elite gear keys there. Fouled out. No surprise there. I started to have a bit of a panic. I was like, oh, should I stop right here or should I wait for the uh, refresh? And lo and behold, the refresh does pay out when you wait a little bit longer for me. And we did pick up a Malachite card, which is the uh, round eight, which I think is the second best card you can get out of this. Of course, we're trying to get Carmelo. But picking up some of the cards from the theme along the way that are of decent uh, tier, you can't really complain. And we jumped through on this one. We picked up some flowers collectibles as well. And then we hit him straight away. That's what I mean. Like, you can have luck. And sometimes the luck's in and sometimes it isn't. In this case, the luck was certainly in. We picked up Carmelo Anthony. The only problem is now is try not to foul out and get one of the last three items that you can pick up to finish off the round. And lo and behold, we did end up fouling out again. But the luck was about to change. Eventually, it was going to change. And we needed to make sure we didn't foul out again which we did. But this time round, I do believe 
we ended up getting lucky. We was waiting for the refresh and boom, there you go, Elite Gear Keys. Now there was two other collectibles. Obviously, you could still take the risk and try and get those Day of the Dead collectibles because there was eight there in total. But what I do like as well, when you go through to these full court press rewards, you've still got that Halloween backdrop, which is absolutely fantastic. I went right to left because I wanted to show off the three Day of the Dead cards in all their glitz and glamour the most. As you can see, Carmelo in there, McDonald and Haslam as well. I couldn't complain. It was a very, very good full court press. And we did get some other good players along the way as well. Obviously, the tiers are not as high anymore, but it was a very, very profitable, or should I say worthy, a worthy four court press for what we ended up picking up. We got a lot of elite gear keys, standard gear keys and draft picks. And as you can see, 25 flowers there as well. And this is what I was talking about, by the way. The draft picks is super cool. I like how you've got the opportunity to sort of theme them. Uh, it makes a nice change. I remember last season we didn't really see any theme switches, especially when you go into things like draft picks or whatever it may be. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely smashed it. Carmelo Anthony is now ours, and I couldn't be happier. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Tata, adios, bye-bye.